Yeah. Hey guys. <laughs> Video SLP. So uh, this is how to use the Prime Scan and uh, send laboratory work. So if we start on the home screen here, we have the link for our Case Connect software. And sometimes you just got to double click it and you'll see this come up, Densply Serona. So the company here is called Densply Serona. The machine is called a Prime Scan and the software is called Connect. The um, cloud is called Case Connect. So that's where we are sending the file for it to be opened and pulled down by the laboratory. Uh, once we're on the home screen, if it's an existing patient, we can click show patients. If it's a new patient, and we have our new patient right here. Yeah, he's missing a, an anterior. It's actually, there's a lot going on here. Um, so we can click add new patient. Then we've simply uh, imported the details. Um, let's just say Mo, Mo, their date of birth. So uh, 12th of the 11th, I don't know, 2000. Patient ID, it's a good idea to use this as uh, the, their PRSI number or whatever. So we'll just go QWER and the dentist name. So it's important to assign the correct dentist as uh, you can search under dentist names. And this is, I suppose, the wrong thing to do. So you see, we've got multiple. So we've got Almos and then we've got Enea, we've got Mo, we've got a bunch of Dr. Shirens and that creates searching under the name. There's a kind of couple of, uh, quite difficult so just make sure you're putting it under the correct dentist name so line by line dot by dot so this is the one we want to and we simply click add case once we're in the administrative um, part of the software we just need to uh, provisionally select the lab that we want to use you can double check this later on so don't worry um, if this is wrong at this point so we can click default and then the restoration type and uh, depending on the restoration type, we will be uh, scanning differently. So for example, if you just want a splint or an impression tray, you would go to jaw scan. If it's a uh, pontic or missing, whatever crown. So let's just assume we're doing a single crown here and full contour. Uh, although these details are not terribly important because the lab can adjust anyway. Once we have the crown selected, we would pick which tooth. So say we're doing a uh, crown on 1.6, we can select the material, uh, lithium disilicate. Again, not terribly important because you can write this in your digital prescription um, and the lab will be able to have a look at it later, but let's just go lithium disilicate. Shade again, not too important because we can tell the lab later on. Um, and select stump shade and we can click OK. Once we have the restoration selected, uh, we can also add a second one if we like or can remove it. Uh, we can click OK and actually yeah, two, two, lab, two, two restorations there. We're going to OK, or next phase. Upper jaw scan, lower jaw scan, and buckle means the bite. Generally, the upper is uh, easy, and once we remove the uh, scanner from its holder, um, it automatically begins to scan. Um, so we would, so we're doing the upper jaw. So we're just going ahead and kind of scanning everything going back to where the software can see. There we go. So I'm not gonna spend a huge amount of time scanning this, maybe just enough for uh, kind of cheating here. Um, just enough to get enough yeah, kind of information to be able to uh, register a bite. Okay, so that's the top. Then we would do the lower jaw. Um, yeah, so we're doing the lower jaw. There's some carries there. And then it's really, really important to get the occlusion as well. So maybe if you have a free moment, just take uh, a buddy or a nurse or anyone else who's free and just practice scanning on them. Then you get the patient to close in MIP and you would scan across until the software comes up with a tick here, right there. And you don't need to keep scanning. So once there's a tick, then that means the software has enough information to, to put the byte together and get 
a static MIP. Then we're simply moving on and the computer will um, stitch the images together. Uh, if you take tons and tons or thousands and thousands of images, the stitching process will take longer. So if you take fewer images, then it'll be faster. We didn't take a whole lot of images, so it shouldn't take uh, kind of too long, but it can be like 10 minutes too. If it's, um, we're currently at maybe about a minute. Uh, if, if there are a lot of images, it can take a while. Um, bear in mind that this, this is the prime scan, but there are other um, scanners. So we have the Itero as well and the Medis. So the, the process is the same. Um, so there's an acquisition phase, the model, and then you're sending the scan on, but it, the buttons might be different or whatever, but it is, you can kind of figure it out as you go. Um, so we will wait for this, and then we have a section here called Connect and Connect SW, where Dentsply is offering us to be able to send this to the dental laboratory or send this file, which is an STL file, um, to, the, to, the lab, to the lab via, via the internet. Okay, so we'll wait, or maybe at two minutes now, two and a half minutes, stitch time. Um, so, hmm. <laughs> <laughs> patience, I have not. Right, so, okay, then it's kind of showing us the, the, uh, the final image and what we've acquired, uh, and it's also based it. Uh, we can select things like a model axis, um, which I actually wouldn't recommend you do at the beginning until you're experienced, but you can kind of uh, get your center lines or dictate center lines and um, your curve of speeds and whatnot. So uh, you can draw margins uh, on the one six and the one five if you like. You can analyze your preparation and use different uh, preparation tools. So this will tell you how much clearance you have in certain areas and things like that. So uh, no, just at the beginning, don't get too bogged down in this because it, it can kind of scare you off. But this has been, this has mostly been created for chair side software. So to be able to design chair side crowns and stuff, which we're not doing, we're getting the lab to do it. So yeah, then we just go to connect. Um, there is a connect case center so each of us will have a login and we'll give you that so we simply log in it's about seven minutes uh, we might actually just go to part two here because it's going to 